Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. And today we're going to be talking about the iPad Air M3, the new 2025 one. Um, I picked this up last weekend and I've been using it throughout the weekend and for the past almost a week now. Um, by the way, I just got a new desk light, so I'm gonna be setting that up soon. So hopefully that'll get rid of this little uh, shadow that you guys get back right there from the monitor. Um, so hopefully the lighting will be a little bit better soon, but we're gonna talk about the iPad Air. Like I said, this is the 2025 one. Um, there's not much of a change from the 2024 uh, one other than some, you know, processor upgrades, stuff like that. Uh, but everything else is generally the same. I did put a screen protector on this a couple days ago, so you can see that up there. Um, and I did get Apple Care on it, so it is protected. I'm not using it with a case or anything. I just use it as is with the screen protector. If I'm taking it somewhere, I took it somewhere today, just threw it in my backpack, it was perfectly fine. Really like this iPad. I was coming from a iPad Pro. Uh, M4 iPad Pro. I do have the Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra as well. So I've got that giant, you know, I think it's almost a 14 inch screen, like 13.9 or something like that. And I really like the iPad Air because it's a little bit more portable um, to throw in my bag. And um, if I'm using it to watch like a video or something, I can hold it a lot easier than holding, you know, the, the almost 14 inch Tab S10 Ultra, which is like holding a laptop screen above your face if you're laying in bed watching YouTube, stuff like that. This is a lot more portable and comfortable to hold. I do like iOS apps over Android apps for some applications like X and stuff like that because it's a little bit more updated with the new swipe gestures and all that kind of stuff. Um, and this is really nice. Um, I don't need to spend $1,000 on an iPad Pro just to watch YouTube, check X and do that kind of stuff. I don't really do Final Cut Pro on the iPad anymore now that I have my, uh, my setup with the M4 Mac mini and my Apple studio display. Um, I usually just use my computer for all that. And I don't really need all that extra uh, power on the iPad. Um, the only thing that bugs me about this coming from the iPad pro and coming from the galaxy tab S10 ultra, which I do still have, and I do plan to keep for the foreseeable future, um, to have that for videos and, you know, just using it for other stuff here in my office. Um, the fact that this is only a 60 Hertz refresh rate instead of the 120, like the iPad Pro with the ProMotion display. Um, I don't really mind the LCD versus OLED. Um, this is still a very nice, bright, colorful display, um, but coming from ProMotion on the iPhone, coming from 120 Hertz on my Galaxy S10 Ultra, basically all my portable devices now are 120 Hertz. You can definitely notice it. But other than that, battery life has been extremely good and you know, I haven't had any issues or anything like that. It's been perfectly fine. And um, I see myself using this as my main you know, on the go portable tablet. So that is the first week with the iPad Air M3 and I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe and have a great day.